Let's take a look at how to use Steinberg's Loop Mash virtual instrument. Loop Mash will allow you to combine multiple loops together and have them come out in a very creative and musical manner. Let's take a look at how it works. With Loop Mash, we can have eight different lanes. Each of these lanes can contain their own loop. One of the loops will actually be the master loop, meaning that this sets the groove or the rhythmic feel that all the other loops will then adhere to. So if I wanted to come here, we could actually play our loop mash. We could change our tempo in real time. And also if I wanted to, I could audition each loop and we can see our song position, what loop is sounding indicated by the little white rectangle or if I wanted to come here now since this loop is set to the master feel I can now slide other loops in and kind of take those different loops and combine different elements with my similarity slider you can also kind of set a threshold here for at what point the similarity sliders choose to kick in. If I wanted a different master loop, now all loops are following the rhythmic timing of this lane or this lane. Now this can all be synchronized to Cubase once the sync is turned on. So as soon as I hit play, stop, or adjust my tempo, this will automatically synchronize directly with Loop Mash. We can also be creative as we listen to just clicking on our loops. If we wanted to combine different elements of different loops, we can just drag and drop and make what's called a composite track. So as we do that, I could take slice from different loops and just replace them just like that. And we see that it's a composite track because it actually has the letter C indicated here. Now we can also incorporate this with the groove agent instrument. So if I wanted a particular slice sound, let's say a, I really like that snare drum, I could drag and drop that snare drum sound from Loop Mash directly onto my Groove Agent 1 pad. Use of adding our own loop. So we can drag and drop directly from the media bay, or we can come right over here and drag and drop a loop from our project window. So now if I want to drag a guitar part, I could come right over here. And now let's make the guitar part the master. Or back to our drum part and now our guitar part. Now we could also come over here and have other adjustments for kind of randomizing your selections. Now, if I like this combination that I've created, I can store it to a pad. And I do that right here. So I can just select this icon right here, drag and drop it onto a pad. Now, you may notice that these pads look just like a piano keyboard, like C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, etc. And these can actually be played to switch between different scenes. So if I wanted to come over here, I could actually switch between 24 different scenes. So, and I could actually choose how these will be switched. If I want it to be at the end of the phrase, at the next bar, the next half bar, the next beat, or within the next eighth note. So as I come over here, I could use my MIDI keyboard. And a lot of people get confused with this, but basically you just kind of play loop mash from the MIDI keyboard. So if I have a MIDI keyboard here, I can now just sequence this. So as we play, I could switch between different scenes. I 
could also adjust the individual volume of different loop elements. So if I want to come here. Or if I wanted to adjust the pitch, I could raise the pitch to match the key of the song. Now we also will have different performance controls. And these are very creative. And these again are just different MIDI notes that will be triggered. So if I wanted to come over here, we can now use this octave and actually switch between our different keys. If I wanted to switch my scenes. Each pad or scene can have eight independent audio loops. And now I could have my different performance on it. So I could do different stutters. Staccato. Again, I could just trigger these and play these in real time. So as you can see with Loop Mash, you can have endless possibilities combining different loops, having them work out musically, and being able to interact in a musical way to switch the scenes or different performance controls.